It's time to walk, walk around, walking around the compound. Lions and tigers all around. See some cats when Derek walks around. <laughs> yep. There. It's gonna be probably a lot of that. Probably gonna be a lot of that. I was out over there doing some stuff, cleaning up some meat things. And uh, yeah, he started on that. And then he started getting attitude. Like, I'm gonna try some stuff, attitude. Hey, you. Hey, you. Like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, ch like, I'm gonna physically challenge Derek attitude. Jeremy did. And it's like, Jeremy, I could punch you into the next county. Like, what are you doing? And, uh, yeah, we exchanged words. <laughs> so now he is just, so now he's, ba he's acting like that. I have been insulted. I challenge you to single combat. <laughs> kind of like the, it's like the show Vikings, which I have been watching. I've been watching. I'm currently on the last season. By the time that you watch this, I should probably have gotten done with the last, with the most up-to-date current season. So, yeah. Spoil away! I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What can you do to me? Of course. Here's the thing. Jeremy decided to do his, uh, his actual... Cause he like he he I was I was walking by and like I was walking kind of in his vicinity and he didn't do this as I approached him. He waited so he kinda like did that and waited for me to get by and ask and when I when I walked by and I wasn't looking, that's when he was like <laughs> 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 Ran up. Yeah. Did the old break yourself, ooh, <laughs> kind of thing. And it's like, Jeremy, <laughs> we're not doing this. He's like, you're not doing this. I am. Hi. Hi, bud. Hello. Hello. Oh. Surely Jeremy does not have the God's favor. Of course, he does not. Uh, he does not listen to the gods. Hi, hello. It's hot. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. All right. It's hot. It's the middle of the afternoon. I hope. Hope, 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 hope that uh, this is like the last real hurrah of the summer. I think it may be. I've consulted the gods, Ragnar. I think that maybe it might get cooler. It's my Floki impression. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> of course, Ragnar. I will do that for you. Everything I do is for you, Ragnar. Hi. Hi, Melita. Mita Pita. Mita Pita. You insult the gods. <laughs> <laughs> so, some people are like, what's he, what's he doing again? What's he talking about? I have no idea. Other people are like, it's not bad. <laughs> That's actually not bad. <laughs> yeah. Who are familiar. Yeah. Good show. Good show. 
actually a show I'd be I would be willing to watch again. Unlike some other, you know, kind of sword swinging uh, political drama series that shall not be named, that were hi beautiful, that were uh, wonderful for six seasons, kind of uh, what's going on seventh season, and absolute steaming piles of garbage during the last season. All because the showrunners wanted to cut and run. Build up something that is universally beloved. And then, you know, you just get a couple of pretty shinies dangled in front of your face. And then, like a magpie, you just want to get, get, get the thing. Well, not paying attention to the pretty shinies that you already have. That's what happened. And then, and then, because you didn't pay attention to the pretty shinies that you already had, the danglers of the pretty shiny that caused all the hullabaloo in the first place said like, you know what? I don't know if you're a good steward of pretty shinies. Maybe we're not gonna give you this pretty shiny that you want because we see what you do with your pretty shinies and we're not really enthused we're not that confident that you are a proper steward of pretty shinies munch 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 munchy 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 i know bud it is hot oh. so it's hot and it's humid that's the other thing, too. That's gross. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I don't want to talk to you too long. I actually want you to get back in the shade. I want to get you. I want you. I don't want to want to want to want to want It's like when you over, over rev, you know, or you're driving like a manual, like stick shift vehicle, and you, you, you kind of, you don't put it in the right year. And then you're like, whoops. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's what happened. My brain and my mouth. Whoa. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, Lord, 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 I know. You're a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. Whoa. Hello, how pretty are you? How pretty are you? How pretty, oh, Ra, are you king of the leaves? Is Ra, he's king of the leaves. He's king of the leaves. Look at, <laughs> he's got some stuck to his head. <laughs> oh, please, please turn back this way. This is, that's great. Come on, bud. Ra. Ra! 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 Is it still there? No, it fell off. Yeah. That would have been fun if that would have stayed there. Because that was like... It almost like it was placed. Again, one of those kind of Viking accoutrements. And they put like a... You know... Just like beads and... Wicker baskets. And they braid them into their beards and stuff. And they're like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> they got their tattoos. But yeah. I like that Viking. Yeah, Vi Vikings, very good. Very good. I am a fan. And, um, one beautifully shot. I, it is a fantastic, it's a wonderfully beautifully shot uh, show. 
and it's all it's very it has it conjures up feelings it's very evocative it's it it interplays with the like sprawling kind of vista e type stuff but then it also kind of like gets really kind of like up and close and uh kind of displays emotions there's a lot of times where there's like long sequences um where it's it's music and uh mood and like changes of speed with like the the film structure like things that are kind of slightly slowed down as far as like the the frame rate is concerned and and it just it, it conjures up these and with the, the, the colors there's lots of colors and this really masterful use of like fire and just makeup and just different kind of elements that are all just being splashed and it makes that for a very like evocative form of visual storytelling hi <laughs> hum, hum, num, num. which I believe that that show gets it gets very it does very well hi I mean bleh. yeah Dr drink up drink your gross drink your gross tiger soup yeah the fountain of eternal doof that's what he's drinking right now. <laughs> hey oh Ezra, the gods would like to hear you choo choo. Choo choo, please. You will insult the gods if you do not choo. <laughs> Ezzy. Oh. The light. I see. I gotta. I gotta angle it up because if I angle it like that, it gets too much of the sky, and there's a lot of brightness in the sky right now. So you know, sometimes if you have contrasting because in the shadows and the light and the things. See, I'm taking lessons from the showrunners and producers of the show Vikings. Using as an artistic thing. <laughs> as an art yeah, good, great. I'm using them as an artistic thing. Ezra. Hey. Juju. Juju. Dead. Whatever. Yeah, okay. There's one. There's one. I can't tell. I can't tell. Yeah. Oh, there. I mean, technically, yeah. Uh, she's back there. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell sometimes because, like, the the darkness of like what it is that I'm shooting mixes with the screen brightness, which my screen brightness has turned all the way up. But when it's really, really bright outside, it's like, and then I sit there and I'm like filming. Yeah, I'm kind of like. Like what? <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing that a lot. <laughs> like I'm trying to zoom and scroll out and tap and like try to like increase the brightness and doing the, it's weird and, like changing the angles and making sure that stuff in the background and the foreground is uh not trying to compete with each other too much. It just becomes a thing. There's, there. We've been invaded by polar bears. There's a polar bear invasion. Gibbles! Gibson! Gibbs, what are you doing? What are you doing, Gibbs? Dibbles! A dibbles! Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a. Remnants of a cupcake are over there. <laughs> that's why. Yep, that is true. That's what's that's what's going on. I may have filmed one of those things. <laughs> um, it didn't quite turn out in the way that I wanted it to, but yeah, you know, we uh, we got there. We ultimately got to where we needed to go. That's all that matters when you're filming cake sequences. 
Lag attack. Lag attack. What up? What up? So, yeah. Speaking of contrast, because that's the other thing. So the, so I'm trying to film him, who he is sitting in a darkened spot, but then of course you got the chain link out in front, which is reflecting sunlight. So then it's messing up with the aperture. No, this is another thing, is that it's gonna look wildly different. It looks a lot more kind of like balanced if it's on like a regular screen. If it's on a regular screen and you're watching it and in like a, in a light controlled environment, you're gonna be able to see things. You're gonna, you will be able to see this video way better than I can currently see it as I'm filming. So, yeah, I, that's like, that's why a lot of times you just kind of like zoom it in to where you think you're supposed to and be just like, I am gonna put my faith in the phone. Samsung, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway thanks for watching this episode of the walk around the compound webcast hashtag dorbus ward in the comment section below like and subscribe for all your big cat goodness and if you want to learn more about the facility around me you can always go to the good you can always go to the website you can always go to the website <laughs> carerescuetexas.com for more information and i'll see you folks next time all right bye-bye Say, we're gonna end it with this handsome boy. Say, say bye bye. And the babies, BBs, team BBs are the bestest of all the BBs. Alright, bye bye. Monkey's butter toast. Munchy saw a ghost. Miko weighs the most.